Good morning. Got a quick uh, clip for you. Just a little, little something that's encouraging. Just to give you um, some insight, some clarity. Uh, maybe just get your brain kind of moving in the direction of who God is this morning. It's something that I heard. I'm not going to take credit for this. Um, but at this point, after thousands of years of discussing God, I don't think anything is an original thought. At this point, it's been said and it's been distributed. But uh, a, a great a great man in Christ, in my opinion, uh, John Lennox, a mathematician, theologian I listen to often, uh, gave this example uh, to kind of put some meat on the bones of the nature of God and how he accepts man and, and works alongside him throughout uh, this journey of life. So I want to share it with you. And I'm going to use marriage, uh, much like the Bible does often, uh, to demonstrate uh, the relationship between us and God, us and Jesus. And so this is what John Lennox presented. He said that, um, he said that what if, and I'm going to use me and Rachel uh, as the example, my wife. What if me and Rachel were dating and, and you know, we were, you know, getting close to to what you would consider to be asking, you know, the time to ask for, for the hand of marriage. And, you know, but before that happens, I came to her and I said, sweetie, here's a cookbook. And with this cookbook, I want you to follow every single Every single recipe, every single day to the T, um, without fail. And then after maybe 30 or 40 years of marriage, then I will accept you. Will you marry me? Do you think she's going to be excited about that? Do you think that's going to be intimidating? That is the view that a lot of this world thinks about God. They think that in order to come to the Almighty, you must be perfect, that you must be clean before you come. And it couldn't be further from the truth. So, so this is who God really is. Who God really is, is he looks at the wife. This is me looking at Rachel and I say, I accept you in all of your, in all of your flaws and all of your brokenness. And here is a book. It's a cookbook. It's a gift. And then I love her and I accept her and I am patient with her and I am gentle and kind with her. I explain to her my love for her. I show her my true self and my true nature and we get to know one another. And over time, with book in hand, she begins to cook and do it every day. Not perfectly, but she does it every day because she loves me. And so there's fruit in this marriage now, not because I've told her that she, not because I've required it of her, right? But I have given, and this analogy isn't perfect, right? Because we do have commandments in scripture, but we also only love God because he first loved us. Do you see the difference? And so, this is where we're working from. You who are weary, who are burdened, who are heavy laden, come to Christ right now. He doesn't expect you to be perfect. Call on his name. Seek out a local church body. Believe in him. Have faith. Trust him. And if you have any questions about his reliability as a good, good father, reach out to me. Reach out to the scriptures, <laughs> first and foremost. But reach out to me. Reach out to a friend who knows Christ. It's like he is not the first, he is not the example of the first man who approaches you with a book and says, I'll accept you after you keep all these things. It is the complete opposite. He accepts you first. And then because of his love, because of his great mercy, because of your understanding and how he opens up your mind to how he suffered for you, you will then, in response to a greater and deeper understanding of how good he is and how much he loves you, you will then be refined and be more, made more like him and be more merciful because he is merciful. Have more love because he is full of love. Have more patience because you realize how patient he is with a broken you. 
And so you will eventually keep the rules of the book. Keep the commandments that are given because your love for him has increased because your understanding of his love for you has gotten clearer and clearer the closer and closer you've gotten to him. And it's the same way in marriage. If you're married to a good woman, you're married to a good man, and you see the gentleness, you see the patience, you see the absolute acceptance How much greater is God's acceptance and love and gentleness and patience with his children? I mean, I'm about to be a dad and I already love that little dude. And I already know that I'm going to have patience that will be imperfect. But that'll be forever. Because I got a dad and I got a mom. I got four of them. That have all shown me patience and love. Imperfectly, but consistently. And they're broken people. How much greater is God? So don't be scared to approach him in your brokenness. He's full of mercy and tenderness. And he's ready to give you the love that you don't deserve. Because of what Christ did on the cross. Your sin is caught up and hidden in him for all those who believe. I love you. Be encouraged. Go do something great today in his name. See you.